Lord, teach us the scriptures. Lord, you said the gospel itself, just in four holy men's gospel. Lord, a lot more has written, but that's what they set aside for us. Lord, ever who printed up them Bibles. But God, more than most of us can take anyhow. But God, you set up on this rock we're built. On the foundation of those apostles. And Jesus himself. The chief cornerstone. and The door that no man could come in except through him. Oh, God, I pray f- for this service. Lord, search every heart. Those that needs deliverance. Set them free, Lord. Some's bound, Lord. It's just one of them days that people get themselves hooked on different stuff. But, Lord, you come and said, if I make you free, you're free indeed, are free forever. Oh, God. Lord, all manner of sin and blaspheme and let the power of your blood and the the power of the Holy Ghost set free tonight. God, create in us, create in me a clean heart and a right spirit. Put it in me, Lord. Jesus, to press toward the mark more deep, that deep call to the deep. I can't make it, Lord. Oh, God, stir these brothers that's got churches, Lord, all the churches in this area, Lord, even if some in another uh, maybe believe a little different. Bless those that are trying to keep doors open for people not only to get saved, but stay saved. God be it so. Lord Jesus and the leaders, Lord, or the overseers or the superintendents, they're what they have. Bless those men, Lord. Encourage, Lord, the evangelists and the pastors. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for the sisters, God, that you'll help them to God, to put on the whole arm of God and live by the Scriptures. Lord, you you wrote some things, and I'd rather we a man or woman. If we did them, we'd be an abomination. God, and you let us know, Lord, that if we commit them abominations, none of us is, that everyone is committing, if we don't get it on the blood and keep it, and forsake it and turn our backs on it, You said we're not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm too far upon my journey to even think of turning back. Let it be so. Bless these needs, God. Lord, as this crusade continues, Lord, if it's just one soul a day, I remember you told me you'd send me to the other side of the world because I complained about a a small crowd and only one person got saved, and Jesus, you rebuked me, and I'm glad you did. You told me you'd send me to the other side of the world for one soul, and you did all the way to South Africa. But it opened the door up, Lord, for millions of people. God, you are good. It's us that has come short. Lord, it's us that had not followed peace with all men. And God, holiness in our lives, holiness without. God, that's what's got our eyes blinded. We're trying to get to heaven without wholeness. You said no man, and none of us, is countable God to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, help us speedily, Lord, to get your word to the rest of the countries of the world. Bless all the pa- if you're a pastor or evangelist, if you ain't standing, stand up. God, right now, Lord, touch the pastors and those that's out evangelizing. Lord, that brother, I don't know how he got my knock up here in Oklahoma. Jesus, God is evangelizing and and got a little church too. Right? God, I don't know him. 
God, I pray for him, Lord. He was crying, going through a trial. God, he said he got saved way back under, under this gospel. Lord, I pray for him to help his family, Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, send your word. Lord, I know he was crying. He couldn't just been making it up. God, I've been down them roads. Lord, I pray for him, Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus, help him, Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, if you've got a need or maybe you know someone, Hold your hand up. God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, God, to send your word for the cock crows, Lord. Place it especially that brother and others, Lord. Let it be so. God, you said whatever we desire. You said lift up holy hands, all of us. Glory to God, without wrath and doubting. Believing with all of our hearts. And whatever we desire, what we're doing that, you said it shall be done. In the name of Jesus. God, in the name of Jesus. Praise your name. Lift your hand up and tell him you love him. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Don't you appreciate him? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you got a telephone call, folks about to meet him. You know, we're in a, a generation of falling away. Two of the biggest Pentecostal churches in the world in the last two years. And I'm not talking about run 120,000 in a Sunday school and their morning service on a Sunday. Of course, our days are Sabbath, Saturday, and got padlocks on the doors. Amen. One of them run 30,000. And a lot of churches, I travel all over the world and all over America. And I see signs all the way to New York when I go up that East Coast. Churches. A church of, nice churches, right and down. Amen. Why? They're falling away. We sit around here like, like there ain't nothing happening. Amen. And it's getting so bad now. The Bible said if God don't shorten the days, Amen. that mean, don't mean the uh, kind of shortness we have. You know, fall the longest day in the year and then change and starts going up in the spring, you know, and then get up there. Fall, they start falling back off. Two or three hours disappear. Well, that ain't the way it is. Well, God, God don't go with all that tummy rot. You know, He's God. Everything He's teaching me and you, uh, that was done before the foundation of the world. Before the foundation of the world. And the Bible said, all this, you know, Jesus is the right hand of the Father before he came down here. Well, you know, good and well, since he was a a son, he had to have a daddy. (laughs) Glory. I mean, God is good, ain't he? I said, I appreciate him too. Glory. My Lord, I tell you, I appreciate the Lord. You know, it wasn't for the Lord, what would I do? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to give you a chance to help us. And I tell you, the Lord shook me up. I heard a voice that it never, and I, you know, sometimes you think you got everything, you know, that's the reason I guess some folks misses it. I'll study and feel like I've, I've been, you know, reach out for the Lord and for Him to guide me. And don't you know about 30 minutes ago, a little 10, 15 minutes before I left, hotel over, 
man. Something hit me. That is like I was into another world. Glory. God spoke to me. He said, you go to the last chapter of the book of Revelation and read it backwards. He said, that's what is fixing to happen. Man alive. You know, the Bible said heaven and earth will pass away. And don't you know right now, they ain't a... Uh, you know, there ain't no uh, translation of the book of Revelations. You know, all people out here trying to explain it, and ain't nothing to explain. It's forever settled in heaven and in earth. What he said, don't need nobody to tell you what it means. And I heard that voice over in that room. And I want to get a little shut. I, I studied and went to eat and studied and prayed. And about 4 o'clock, I said, uh, 3.30, I said, I'm going to get me a little shut. Have you ever said that? I was raised in the country myself. Y'all might not know what that is. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't any of y'all come back in that part of the world? Get me a little shut. Yes, Hallelujah. Man, I laid down there, took my shoes off, didn't change my daily clothes. Man, all of a sudden, I begin to hear that revelation. And I heard that voice, don't you start. In the last chapter 22, and come, come back this way. I said, that's what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to fulfill every word that's in the revelation that John the raven of the half brother Jesus wrote. He's lived longer than in them. Some history say he lived to be 107, and some 100. You know, but he was Jesus' half brother. After Mary the Virgin birthed Jesus. Her and her husband had John the Revelator. Man alive, don't you know? A lot of people, they think that. Is that to help after the rapture? Well, that's our first place. There ain't no such thing as a rapture. Amen. Ain't one scripture in the Bible backs it up. Amen. <laughs> Paul Crouch and all that bunch that went out 200 years ago, put all that stuff out there. But you know, he, he died... I told folks, I said, God going to get rid of him quick for putting out such a mess as that. And them other guys that's with him, they died too. Amen. Every one of them. But Paul did. Uh, he heard about it and he did uh, send for me. And I, he was somewhere over there close to uh, Indiana somewhere, uh, Arkansas somewhere, and had me to come over and pray with him. Back then we had the jet and we flew over there. God is good. Yes. God is good. And I, I tell you that he, he might probably make it. But you know, some of them said, I don't care if I lose my reward just so I can be saved. You know, the Bible said to be some people lose their reward. Yes. Then it said, but be saved. As by fire. Whew. Well, they'll always stop you from chewing tobacco. <laughs> that will stop you from smoking cigarettes. Amen. Dipping snuff if you snuff dippers. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. God is good, ain't he? Amen. We're going to give you a chance to have no more. I think I'm going to sing a couple of songs. That yes. Most all the songs I sang, but I saw the light. Hank done that. But I think I helped him some, but he beat me to it. But I was the last man seen him alive, bless his heart. It was just the Lord. I was headed to Canada, and I stopped up our little ch church that wanted me to, almost on the border, and uh, preached to that 
church at uh, one of them churches that didn't believe in wearing ties. I don't know when I quit wearing a tie, but anyway, some preacher told me, he said, one of these days, the devil's going to grab you with that tie and choke you to death. And I ain't worn one since. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, some people are still wearing them hypocrite ties. <laughs> Snap them on. <laughs> Glory. Glory. But I ain't going to wear a hypocrite tie. It might get hung. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He did God, ain't he? Praise the Lord. If you can help us, we appreciate it.